Hey, it's Chris, back in the office at All In Gym. A little more educational content today. Today we wanna talk about understanding how fat loss works. Okay, main thing, number one, fat loss is energy balance. What most people say, the term you hear all the time is calories in versus calories out. This is king, this is number one, this does not change. I don't care what diet you do, if you do keto, if you're vegan, you do carnivore, no matter what diet you do, if you overeat, and don't burn those calories, your body will accumulate fat. So don't think there's some magic diet, some magic thing you need to do. No matter what you do, those different diets are there to try to find a diet you can adhere to. Because no matter what you do, you've gotta get this right or weight loss or even muscle gain is not gonna occur. Okay, so the main part of energy balance, number two here is energy input. Energy input is the calories we consume, the food. A calorie, why they come up with this unit of measurement, I don't even really know, but what it stands for is what it takes to heat up one kilogram of water one more degree Celsius. So that's how they measure how much energy is in food. So we consume that food, we now have that energy, we have to burn it, or we're gonna store it as fat. That's our options. Energy output, there's lots of ways to affect energy output. BMR, which stands for basal metabolic rate. NEAT, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Our exercise and our TEF, our thermic effect of food. In our next video, I'm gonna explain what all of these are and how you can manipulate them to make sure we have the right energy out to energy going in. Thanks for tuning in as always. If you have any questions, hit us up on any form of social media. If you're local, stop in and see us and let's get better together.